Neolithic boats reveal advanced seafaring technology. Already 7,000 years ago, people sailed using technologically advanced ships. These conclusions were drawn by scientists after discovering ancient boats on one of the lakes near Rome. The finds reveal sophisticated construction techniques used by Neolithic communities in the region. Stone Age sailors had quite advanced technology when it came to building boats. Neolithic communities traveled and traded by sea, as evidenced by archaeological evidence of vessels and the presence of settlements on coastlines and islands. In new work, scientists from the Higher Council of Scientific Research in Spain, together with colleagues from other institutions, describe Neolithic technologies used in sailing in the Mediterranean. They based their research on analyzes of ancient boats discovered in the Neolithic village of La Marmotta on a lake near Rome. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, PLOS One. Neolithic sailors of the Mediterranean traveled aboard sophisticated ships that incorporated many of the features found in modern boats. The quality and complexity of these prehistoric developments indicate that several significant advances in seafaring were achieved during the Late Stone Age, which likely paved the way for the conquest and spread of the most important civilizations of the ancient world. Five boats made of hollow tree trunks were discovered at the archaeological site of La Marmotta, they rather resemble canoes or kayaks and date back to the period between 5,700 and 5,100 BC. Analyses showed that they were made of four different types of wood, which is quite unusual in similar excavations. Moreover, scientists admitted that they used advanced construction techniques such as transverse reinforcements, which increased the durability of the hull, protected it and improved its controllability. On one of the boats, scientists spotted three T-shaped wooden objects, each with a series of holes that were likely used to attach ropes tied to the sails. The characteristics and location of these objects suggest that they may have been used to attach ropes tied to a possible sail, or to connect other navigation elements, such as a stabilizer or even another boat, to create a double hull in the form of a catamaran. Such strategies would provide greater security and stability and greater capacity to transport people, animals and goods, the authors write in the publication. Scientists describe these boats as unique examples of prehistoric ships, the construction of which required a detailed understanding of the structure and properties of wood, as well as a well-organized specialized labor force. The similarities between the discovered boats and newer seafaring technologies seem to support the idea that many significant advances in seafaring were made during the Neolithic period. Scientists suggest that there may be more ancient shipwrecks near La Marmotta, which could be a potential direction for future research. Direct dating of the Neolithic boats from La Marmotta reveals that they are the oldest vessels of this type in the Mediterranean. This study reveals the high technological sophistication of early agricultural and pastoral societies. Highlighting their skills in woodworking and complex shipbuilding, the authors wrote in the publication. The Neolithic settlement of La Marmotta was discovered by archaeologists in 1989. 
It is located 8 meters below the surface of Lake Bracciano, approximately 300 meters from the current shoreline. This lake connects to the Mediterranean Sea. Research at the site was conducted from 1992 to 2006 and again in 2009. In addition to the five canoes, a large collection of wooden tools used for weaving textiles, baskets for carrying food, and other artifacts were discovered there. These finds show La Marmotta as a thriving agricultural community that was probably an important trading hub due to its location near the Mediterranean coast. The largest boat discovered was made of oak and is nearly 11 meters long. The others are from 4 to 9.5 meters long and made of alder, poplar and beech. Given their size, researchers suspect they were probably intended for use far beyond Lake Bracciano. They speculate that the boats may have been used to navigate the Mediterranean Sea. And evidence of such voyages can be found among artifacts discovered at La Marmotta, including Greek and Baltic pottery and obsidian tools from the islands of Lapari and Palmarola. In 1998, Another team of researchers checked the suitability of similar structures for long-distance navigation. The scientists built a replica of the canoe and sailed over 800 kilometers from Italy to Portugal.